CNN now projecting Marco Rubio is the winner in Puerto Rico today, uh, taking in 73.6% of the vote with 25% of the precincts reporting there. Again, Marco Rubio with a wide lead. CNN projecting he will be the winner in Puerto Rico. Uh, 23 delegates up for grabs there. Uh, this is a, a uh, everyone there went to the polls with their concern about the massive debt crisis in Puerto Rico, which is more than $70 billion in the red. The Democratic race in Puerto Rico, not until June 5th. Let's talk about what this all means for Marco Rubio. Joining me now, Republican strategists Brian Morgenstern and Ellis Hennigan. Democratic commentator, thank you both for being with me. Uh, let, let me begin with you, Brian. When you look at this, does this matter win for Rubio? So now he's got Minnesota and Puerto Rico, and that's it. Yeah, but this is a bellwether because we have Florida coming up. The campaign has has openly said we are going to win Florida, guaranteeing a victory. Well, there are a million Puerto Ricans in Florida, hmm. uh, and that's a lot of votes. And so this is as much a victory for Rubio and sort of breathing uh, more air into his campaign as it is also a bit of an indictment of the other candidates and their outreach uh, to Latinos, particularly hmm. today Puerto Ricans. And so the fact that, that Marco is... is crushing the field this badly with this voting block could be a very strong bellwether for them headed in to the March 15th primary. 